Okay, you guys, I thought I would just vlog this morning. My camera is charging. I promise it's gonna be charged for the weekend. It's at the house I'm dog sitting for, just like charging clearly. But I just came at the cycle bar. Cycle bar's up here. Um, I've just been coming to the one close to the my cousins that I'm dog sitting at. Um, I have unlimited, so I'm really able to go wherever. Um, this is just a little bit closer. It's not like crazy close, but it's like 10 minutes away instead of 20. So it's like a good bit. It is 9.30. We are going to get a little workout on and then um, grab a coffee and go home. Um, today I'm going dress shopping with Pesha. Um, I don't know if you guys remember that vlog. I made a video of Paige's whole engagement and like setup process and stuff. So I will link that if you guys, it was like last May. So if you've been around, you've seen that vlog, but we're gonna go into Cycle Bar and I'll see you then. Also that right there is the crate and barrel that I used to go to. And then this is the mall that I work at or I used to work at when I worked at Lululemon. So it's all right around the same area. The walk is not as short as my cycle bar like literally you guys know my cycle bar i park and i like get in so quick this one you have to go up an escalator and then go around the plaza so i have to calculate in a little more time than i'm used to all right guys post a cycle bar it is so cold out it's like 35 degrees it's april 1st um Cycle bar is good. So this is my fourth time, fourth day in a row going. I honestly haven't really vlogged that much this week, but it is my fourth day in a row going and I'm like kind of tired. So today was a connect ride, which if you've never been to cycle bar, I didn't even know the difference, but like normal cycle bar, they're like telling you what gear and how quick to be or this one. It's just like, do whatever makes you feel good. I still push myself, but it's kind of nice having this um, as like a fourth day type things. Like you can kind of like relax a little more. So <sighs> I'm going to go pick up a coffee. I'll probably bring you guys along and then I need to head back. So let's go. Okay. I didn't vlog in the coffee shop because it's kind of awkward in there. It's like really small and whatever. I made a quick run to home goods. Shocker. But I did get my coffee. I got a 16 ounce when I normally always get 24 ounce. Um, you guys, they have the best ice cream and lattes. Like, oh my gosh. This cup is a cloudy cup, by the way. It is not this white. Like, cause I keep getting, I kept getting 24 ounce drinks. And then Trevor would get the 16 and we'd be like, why does his, why is his so much lighter? But it's like a cloudy cup. I want to show you guys what I picked up from Home Goods really quick. Um, so in this same vlog, you guys know I picked up that like um, Barefoot Dreams dupe blanket from Target. Well, Home Goods has some. Target, they're both the same price. So they're $25. My Target one was 21 though, because it was on sale. I picked up this one, um, but my mom's gonna keep it, I think. I don't think I'm gonna keep it, because I don't need three blankets in the living room that are all Barefoot Dreams-esque, but it's a tan, taupey one with little stripes. I think it's so cute, you guys. It's literally the material of whatever. And if you are wondering, it's always the cupcakes and cashmere brand that feel like Barefoot Dreams. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep, or I think I'm gonna give this one to my mom, we'll see. And then this is the one I got for our bed. Um, my cousin has actually a lot of this material blankets and they're just like a good, almost like linen-y material and I just like this look um, for the bed. And then I got this really cute candle. I really liked the look of the candle on the outside. And not only just the look of the candle, but like the scent is really light so I feel like it would be a good kitchen candle because you're not supposed to like have really fragrant candles in there it's just like a taupey jar with gold on it that just it's like a literal sticker oh well it just says candle but it's cute and I feel like it would be cute just on like one of the shelves open shelves in the kitchen or in a glass hurricane if we were actually going to light it but it's just like a white candle 
it's like vanilla it's nothing crazy but it was on clear I think okay so this is why it's on clearance you guys like clearly that's why it's on clearance um oh wait it smells so good wait I love that look at the I almost feel like it's vanilla on top and it's so good dang it I should have got more anyway that's why it was on clearance but I don't care it's just gonna melt in there um when I light it so that smells amazing I might have to go back and get some more they had a ton and they had like a bunch of different colored um they all smelled the same but they were a bunch of different colored like jars so there was like pink and all that wow that smells really good I may have to go back at some point and get more like say I had a bunch on clearance and that smelled so good um my hair is crazy I'm gonna go home and shower and do all that so yum let's go all right hair makeup are done outfits are done should we show our outfits <laughs> we'll show. Wait, should I show your makeup? Paisha's makeup. So pretty. And we still have to put lipstick on. But I'm not gonna vlog there. But she's gonna get a good dress. <laughs> My hair. Why does it look extra blonde? Okay. Oh, I have my sweaters from Target. Literally, my outfit is all cheap. My sweater was clearance at Target. Skirt is Shein. Boots are Sam Edelman. Peisha's dress is from Amazon. It's the green one I wore last week. Well, white version. And then Target shoes. Cute. Okay, lipstick to him. Yeah, I'll just leave it. Since they're in their crates, they can't attack my stuff. Lipstick time. We're gonna do. What? She's such great attention. I know. I bought these because I heard too. Salt and pepper shakers. I have heard this. Look at the sex. Yeah. Um, dear Lord, I hope they're in here. I'd be so sad. Thank God. Lipstick. I have two. This is the one that I plan on wearing. And then there's another one, but you can wear this one too. I don't care. This one I always wear. Here, I'm gonna get in the car, get myself situated, and then you meet me out there. Okay. Lipsticks. Okay. Oh, Lipsticks. 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 L
front tuck it's easy because these have slits and this skirt is big on me so it worked really well but it was really cute with the tall boots the blue skirt i think i said this is from shein i can link and then this is old from target i have it in purple too and i have on my new i don't even know if i showed you guys these earrings that i got from kendra scott um these are both kendra scott because i had a pair that i absolutely love and they broke and so kendra scott just like they told me i could choose whatever pair and these were the most similar just like medium sized hoops that are super light love them and then i have on these I couldn't find the matching socks, so they're not matching, but of course you couldn't see them. So I actually need to turn off the, I fed the hamster last night, the lizard and the fish. They're all good, but at night you have to turn off the lizard light. So there's that, but here's my outfit. It was actually like really cute and it was comfortable. This skirt is super comfortable to sit in and the sweater is of course comfortable. I also didn't really tan. Um, I just did like a little bit of tanologist so the sweater was perfect because like all I did was do a little tanologist on my neck and then my legs and the boots covered most of my legs like it was kind of perfect so I thought about wearing these because they're like the same color from Dulce Vita but I didn't so we're gonna head home I'm gonna pack a few things that I kind of want to put on in the morning um, I'll probably put like these sneakers on and stuff in the morning so I'm gonna pack those um, and then yeah, I need to run to Home Goods tomorrow because I'm actually going to get another one of those candles because the scent was so good. And I'm like, I need to go back there on clearance. And um, I don't know what else we're going to do tomorrow. I know we're going to be up super early dropping off my parents. So I don't know if we'll go back and sleep or like here. I don't know. But that's it for tonight. Thank you guys um, <laughs> for watching. We're like at a quarter, probably three fourths of the way through the vlog. I'll see you tomorrow. Fans, say good night. Good night show you guys before i go ahead and use this um bondi sands sent me their skincare line which i'm super excited to try out so they sent me the thirsty skin hyaluronic acid serum whipped moisturizer and a clay mask i'm obsessed with masks so i'm super super excited to try that but i think tonight i'm gonna go ahead and apply the hyaluronic acid serum and the whipped moisturizer i feel like i should try both of those that'll be like super easy I don't really want to do a mask tonight I'm just not feeling it but um, I want to show you guys the packaging I haven't really even looked at it much so here's one I'm assuming this is has like drops like it's I don't know let me see I'm assuming you can it's like a dropper oh wow that's not what I was expecting looks like eye drops so you just squeeze it out the serum and then the whipped moisturizer is just like a just like a little lotion so we'll try these products out and I will like show you guys me putting them on but I'm just gonna go ahead and cleanse my skin first I lied they said that this is a morning moisturizer so I'm not gonna put this on um, tonight I will put it on tomorrow morning but they did say that this is this is um morning and night so we will put this okay. on oh it's coffee grounds that's what it is help me wait can You're... i wipe it on here no my mom probably has napkins yes, she does. look how good this quality is wait what is stuck on now yeah get some we just went to ups and returned a rug and a dress then we went to we saw on the way there we saw um oh nice spot what did we just see? Oh, a USPS mailbox. I had to return my phone because I got a new phone. That's why I'm on my phone right now. And the quality's better. So we found the mailbox. I was like, Trevor, there's a mailbox. And he got scared. I not get scared. And so we dropped off my phone in a Shein package. And then now we got Big B. And we're going to go return this rug to Target. And then I also have like a little Target bag right there of a hurricane return. Oh, today. Lots of returns, literally six, and I needed to get them done. Mine's good. Ugh. Not good? Disgusting. <laughs> I don't think it has vanilla in it. <laughs> How do you always... <gasps> Let me taste it. Let me try yours.
Well, let's go get it fixed. Is this the bad one? Yeah. Yeah, there's like no vanilla or something in this. <laughs> there we go. Every time. <laughs> anyway, um, Trevor's going in to get his coffee fixed. It actually was bad. Like, it was not good. Um, so we're doing all of the returns, and then um, we're going to run to Carl's Deli, which is just in Hyde Park, and we're going to get, we love their veggie sandwiches. I make it a wrap and add avocado. He just eats the sandwich usually. So good. So we're going to drink our coffee, head to Target really quick, and then go to Carl's, and then go back to um, dog sit we like let the dogs out and did all that this morning my parents also just left for florida and then my brother left for his fraternity formal so everybody's out of town so now i'm also going back home to dog sit for, or like take care of our dogs not dog sit because like they're my dogs too whatever um but we did decide against this rug it is super cute it's a studio mcgee rug and it's actually an outdoor rug that we were going to use as a under our dining table but um, we bought two jute ones from Amazon, one darker and one lighter, return the darker one. And then we're keeping the lighter one. It's going to look so good. I think under the table. So I'm like just excited once we like move, there's somebody right next to me. Once we move to just like show you guys everything. Um, I don't know, like everything coming together. Cause I've gotten asked so many questions like from friends and stuff, like how much furniture shopping we still need to do. And like, we're literally good. Like I have had a plan for so long of what I want and accessories too. So I literally pretty much got all the accessories. The only things we really need are things like hampers and like smaller things like that, like a hamper for our clothes. Um, I already got like black handles for our dresser. I need to get some for the bathroom vanity because the all the hardware in the bathroom downstairs is black, but the handle on the vanity is silver. I don't know why they did that. That's like a $5 thing. So I just need to measure the holes. And so we'll do that um, next time we're there. I don't know if that'll be the day we move in or when that'll be, but I'll just order them from Amazon. I'm going to get the exact ones I bought for our dresser, only like whatever size they need. Um, and my dresser ones, I think are getting delivered today. So if I'll show you, if I show you guys, I'll link them. Um, and Target has been having huge sales. Like I wanted an olive tree. And I was like, no, olive trees are expensive. I'm gonna wait until we're settled. Like you don't need an olive tree to move into a house. Well, the olive tree at Target was 40% off, you guys, 40% off. And it already wasn't that expensive. So I went ahead and bought the olive tree. It has great reviews. It's a Studio McGee olive tree. And then somebody, and then I like, I just bought it. It was like on a whim. I was like, I can always return it. Well, now it's sold out. So I'm very happy that I bought it. And then I want it to be a little taller. And so I was like thinking about what pot I could buy and like if I could put some styrofoam under the tree. But then my cousin had a pot with like a stand, obviously, which makes it like feet taller, inches taller. And it's from West Elm. And I found a, I actually found one that I liked better from West Elm and their pots are like $200. Pots that it's big enough to fit the base of the um, olive tree. And the pot was 65% off you guys. It was like around $70 instead of one, almost $200. And it's so cute. It's white and it's a white pot, which we don't have much white in our house um, downstairs. And then dark brown legs wood, which I love. So I'm going to finish drinking this coffee. Trevor's back with his. So we'll see what his reaction is. And um, I'll obviously give you guys more updates as we go. Is it better? Yeah. No. I didn't, they're, they're like swamped, so I didn't want them to remake it, so I just added vanilla to it. So it's not good. It's okay. <laughs> Big B is really disappointed you. Yeah, like. I'm done with them. <laughs> veggie rice and veggie syrup. Veggie freestyle. <laughs> yeah. Did show you guys that earlier, or yesterday I picked up this candle which i thought would be perfect for like the kitchen because it's super light and the smell but they were all on clearance um so i actually got two more in all different colors and i actually like i'm like do i actually get them out i said actually 600 times already i got two both other colors so here's one of them i love how neutral it is so it's a little different if you guys can see the difference like this one's definitely more gray and this one's more tan and I think the other one I got is even lighter 
yeah this one's more white my favorite is for sure this like whiter one but they only had one of these and I'd already had this one at home and I like this color but whatever I think they're like super cute and neutral so I picked up a bunch of these they were four dollars and fifty cents so I think those are great and whatever and then I picked up let me just set up the camera really quick um I'm gonna have to wrap all these again but I picked up this candle it was on clearance as well and I don't really know why but I love the front of it it's first off it's gray which like is whatever cute um so this is the front it's just like gold and it smells like christmas which i love like it smells like literally my west elm candle it smells just like that my west elm candle was like 30 dollars, and it was smaller than this this one smells so good and um it was six dollars and i love the look of it i'm not going to be using it anytime soon because it's for sure going to be a christmas scent but i like how small it is for all of my little like small hurricanes like throughout the house i feel like this would be a really cute um candle for the coffee table so, so while i wrap this up these candles up trevor and i stopped by the house today um to just see if there was any there's a few things that they're doing before we move in and um, we noticed that the ac has been installed which is really nice because they actually didn't have an ac unit and we're installing it before we moved in so we have a brand new air conditioning unit which is like really nice because we know we're gonna have some solid air conditioning for the coming months where summer months when it's like 100 degrees so That'll be really nice. Um, we're definitely excited about that. I am not doing as good of a wrapping job as um, the lady at Home Goods did, but look how Wells is laying right now. Look at him. What are you doing, buddy? And also, you should not chew on that. That is not okay. You are crazy. Look at how you're laying. You're hilarious. He also got a haircut. Can you guys tell? You can actually see his eyes. Look at him. We can see your eyes, can't we? Yeah. Do you want to give me your paw? Yeah. You have a hair on you. A real hair. A human hair. And Jordy's just chilling. I just went ahead and ordered um, other little pools they're not really the same at all but it's a six pack not a 10 pack um they're like a bronzy color and they have flowers on them so this is what they look like they're not the same like at all they're like a bronzy color and see how this is like a flower which i thought would look good because there are flowers on this dresser there's like some on the side the middle down here there's flowers everywhere so i'm hoping that this looks good again it doesn't have all the craziness but it is there's a six pack and they are three and a half inch pools for 20 bucks we're gonna try them out i like the bronzy kind of color again i like these like i'm sorry for all the mess like i really need to pack up stuff but i like all of these there's nothing wrong with it i'm just like Hey, no fighting. Ugh, I just can't find them anywhere. I looked on eBay, Poshmark, just like to see if people were getting rid of them. And then I also have the taller version of this dresser that's not painted yet. And I was going to steal it for now. But the dresser things are a little smaller. So there's really nothing I can do at this point. So I went ahead and ordered um, two sets of the um towel ring and toilet paper holder in black because we have two bathrooms and neither of them have either of these and the hardware like the faucets and everything on in both of the bathrooms are black like I mentioned so went ahead and ordered those just to get them here and then I figured out what hamper we're gonna get I'm not gonna buy it yet this is a thing where I'm like you know we can order the hamper the day we move or something like that like order it to the house when we like you know make sure we know but it just has two sides like I'm gonna do lights and darks and it's 60 bucks it has great reviews it comes built they say the wicker is super super 
um, and there's the divider and then the wicker is like really sturdy and people say it doesn't fall and I was reading this book and the girl was like like when you become an adult get yourself she was like get yourself a hamper that has a lid and like a cute one and so it'll probably go in the closet anyway but if it can't go in the closet like it's cute to where I wouldn't mind it staying out I don't have lipstick on or anything but I literally got ready so quick because well, I started to pack up my mugs and you guys I had like 30 mugs so we're leaving the ones here that I don't use that much and then like my parents can figure out if they want to like get rid of them or not but like my brother and dad use some of mine um, and then I started packing up like tumblers and like different cups and things that I use But I added a few waves to my hair. I'm wearing a sweater that I literally haven't worn I got it in Colorado. If you watch that vlog, I hauled this from H&M. haven't worn it since or yet I literally cut off the tags Just now. Um, so it's pretty cute. It's like a shorter sweater, um, but not short enough So I just tucked it in the front straight leg black jeans and then I'm wearing my little tan boots so this is the fit. It's like, I just don't really like my hair right now. Nothing against like my hair. Nothing against Q for doing it. Like I love the blonde. It just is dirty. And sometimes when I have like too curly of hair in a sweater, I'm just like not feeling it. But this is a good thing to wear tonight because then I won't have to have um, a coat because it's not super cold, but it's kind of cold. So this so we're in. Ignore the dots on my face. It's rain droplets from the windshield. But I forgot to put on mascara. Light. Turn right onto Vine Street. And I'm so and sad. The destination is on your right. I literally have on a full face of makeup and no mascara. Wonderful. I I always do my face and then do my setting spray before my mascara because if I do it after then like my mascara will literally be under my eyes because it's not dry and I was like oh I'll come back to it I didn't but it's okay we're matching again in our green we're always matching but we don't have a reservation so I have to see how this works out because it is nine o'clock though. It's hopping the OTR always, but it's nine o'clock like he said, which isn't really dinner time. At the light, turn right onto Walnut Street. So then turn right onto Central Parkway East. I guess I can turn this off. Yeah. So we're going to Abigail Street where you get what is it called? Like small plates? Yeah. Well they're share. They're I'm really share bowls. Small. They're not really small. Share bowls and we usually get like three or four, usually four. And then their churros are really good. And I'm not getting a drink tonight because I don't really want to. All right, first one is fatouche. So it's like pita and then like fresh veggies with seasoning. Cucumber, peppers, radish, cherry tomato, and green onion, I think. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Falafel and hummus, but uh, it was really cute and then we took it. <laughs> These are literally so quick. <laughs> Next up, broccolini <laughs> with aioli, right? No, it's um, miso tahini. Miso tahini, that's what it is, because it's vegan. All right, we have sweet potato gnocchi, but we had to disassemble to get all the mushrooms, because I hate mushrooms. <laughs> but it's very good. All right, last but not least, churros and chocolate. <laughs> 11 something, 11, 12, and we're headed out to get coffee. Um, we slept in a little bit today since we could and now we're heading out where are you Bye. are you coming yeah okay um i wore my little fleece from j crew and it kind of matches my shoes Let's see this my cloud necklace you're gonna need a little jacket no i'll be fine So, and then I realized that I probably need something underneath, so I just threw on this gray all yours tee. I actually had an option to layer. Always layer, folks. But like, I never had an option before because I didn't pack well. But now we're good. It's 
lock the door. It's a little chilly in the shade. I mean, it's, oh my God. Come on, door. There we go. It's pretty darn sunny. It's nice. See, here's my shoes with my little sweatshirt. Great nug. What? Are you getting a smoothie? Yeah, I think so. He's given up on the coffee. He's had too many bad ones. Big B was four. Wait, I don't have sunglasses. I think I actually have some. You can wear my extra ones. No, but I think I have some in my purse inside. Whichever you want. I guess these, because these look like little boys. Are these huge though? They're broken. Oh God. <laughs> They're like cattywampus. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't look bad on you. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready for the day. Ready to conquer the day. <laughs> With coffee. Yeah. We're sitting inside. I don't know, it depends on if we can get a sunspot. Here we go. Out of water. Always hydrate first, ladies and gents. That's a lie, I never do. Yeah, I you're going on a big run. No, I, I never hydrate before coffee. Or not hydrate, but like, you're you supposed to drink water and stuff. You went on a big run yesterday. Yeah, Trevor had to, he didn't have his watch, so he wanted to track his miles and wear my watch. So he wore my watch for his run. And wait, let me see if there's a better way to get here. Okay. How many miles did you run, 12? Yeah. He ran 12 miles with my watch on. <coughs> I, I didn't hit all my rings last night. How did you not I don't know, I guess. Um, but I thought I would have friends that, cause like I'm connected with like a bunch of friends on there. And I thought I would have friends that um, were gonna text me and be like, what are you doing? You ran? Cause I don't run, but nobody texted me about it. So they all just thought I went Starting on a 12 route mile to run, I guess. <laughs> or they didn't see it. Head um, southeast on Cayuga Drive, then oh turn right onto Graves Road. Oh, it probably wants us to go up that road by Mizunte. In half a mile, turn right onto That's what it's gonna want us to do. Gotcha. But, that's it. This is a long clip. Bye. Back. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always here. And then that's where we were yesterday. Two days ago. <laughs> Friday. We got the iced, can you even see? I don't even know, but we got the iced cinnamon roll lattes. They're new for right now and they're so good. I got mine with oat and then Trevor got soy. They're very good. Yeah, it is. It's so good. Yummy. I don't even know if you can see. I have sunny songs. It's really sunny. I don't know. It's good. Reaction video for the vegan. What is it? <laughs> Turn the thing. Indian spicy cauliflower it and kale. Ah, it seems so spicy, or so hot, I mean. So hot. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, update on the coffee. Doesn't look like I liked it, but I'm still finishing it, and it was really good. Um, I was a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I just feel like it was a nice change, because as you guys know, if you're subscribed, or you watch all of my videos, we come to Coffee Emporium, almost once a week we didn't come last weekend but pretty much every either like saturday or like either saturday or sunday once a week and we always just get like vanilla lattes and so i think didn't i get the seasonal coffee in the fall yeah yeah i got their seasonal coffee once in the fall but i didn't love it and so i like that i liked the seasonal coffee because day, she was you know rolling they're just rolling the other one's pooping <laughs> oh my gosh that was a weird squat i know but it's just like nice because I feel like I'm not getting burnt out on the coffee, but they're a lot vanilla latte is good. It's just like kind of nice to have a little change. 